it is monthly favorites time and there has been so many new launches in the past couple of months I'm thinking about doing a best and worst of latest launches video so let me know if you fancy seeing that but the first thing I have to show you is a latest launch and it is a new launch that is like freaking awesome these are the new hourglass ambient lighting blushes oh wow I am just a sucker for anything marbleized and peachy pink and highlightery they've just they've just got it all going on these two I have two shades I have the shade dim infusion and luminous flush and I've pretty much been wearing one or the other this entire month the shade luminous flush is a really beautiful vibrant pink and the shade dim infusion is a kind of more peachy color they're both really really buildable and they both have a kind of highlighting quality to them as well but nothing too in your face that you go out in the sun and you're like oh I look like a disco ball don't look at my face like they're really really subtle they give like the most beautiful overall look to the skin they have like the perfect pigmentation to them not like too much that you kind of dab your brush in and like dab it lightly on your cheeks and not too little that you need to build it up 110 times it's, the pigmentation of these is like dead on it is so so good oh I just can't get enough of them these are definitely my favorite discovery of the month and after not loving the ambient lighting powders all that much like I thought they were okay I didn't think they were anything out of this world I was mega mega impressed with these as a kind of slap and go basis month I've been loving the bourgeois CC cream and I'm not really into the whole BB CC cream thing this is just a really nice lightweight coverage it's not one of those that you need to really think much about applying which I quite like really early in the morning you just need a little pump of this and then just rub it around your face you don't need to apply it with a brush and think about blending in the edges which is exactly what I want like mega early in the morning it says it has like three things to color correct in it anti fatigue anti redness and anti dark spots I do find this works really nicely on the dark spots I have around my cheeks especially when I'm like in a rush slapping on a base I really can't be bothered to like do a Lisa Eldridge like pinpoint concealing situation so I just slap this on and it's really good coverage I say it's like a light to medium coverage and the lasting power on this is really really good and it doesn't kind of fade awkwardly or oxidize or separate on the skin either. Before this month I've never really found a no makeup kind of morning time cleanser that I really liked but I've been using this one a lot you can kind of tell it's already on its last legs and I have fallen in love with it. This is the Clarins Extra Comfort Anti-Pollution Cleansing Cream. It has a really nice lightweight creamy texture, it kind of hydrates the skin, still makes you feel like you're cleansing the skin but not deep cleansing which I don't like that deep cleansing feel in the morning I kind of want a nice light creamy cleanser and then kind of wash it off and I love that this doesn't leave a layer over the skin you know sometimes you use cleansers and they leave like a kind of oily layer on the skin or just leave you feeling a little bit hydrated I quite like that in the evening but in the morning and daytime I really don't like that and this doesn't do that at all a little bit goes a really long way I use like less than a pea size or maybe a pea size to kind of get through my whole face around my neck and that kind of thing it smells really nice it smells like morning I don't know <laughs> why that doesn't really make sense but it kind of does smell like morning I don't know go and give this a whiff I really really like it speaking of skincare I've almost ran out of my Zellens Z matrix moisturizer which I love but I think it's like 78 pounds or like eight it's something ridiculous like it is ridiculous that stuff is just no matter how much my skin loves it I don't know I'm just torn between like the amount my skin loves it and the amount it actually is and then like three pots later I was just like no this is enough I need to find a nice purse friendly moisturizer my skin can deal and it will find one that it likes and it did and this is the La Roche-Posay Tolerian Tolerian I don't know but I've used this in a couple of videos before and this month I've really really gone into using it because it's such a great all-round moisturizer I find that when my skin's dehydrated sorts out if my skin's dry sorts out if it's like kind of oily down the t-zone it doesn't make me more oily or look greasy at all really good lightweight formula kind of sinks in pretty quickly leaves a kind of really nice glow over the skin but I can find with this that you can over apply it and look a bit greasy so you need like the tiniest amount which is quite good because it's quite a small little bottle and I think this little bottle is around 15 pounds which is definitely more purse friendly than my Zen and Z matrix I don't think there's like a skin type that wouldn't agree with this at all it is so skin friendly if that makes sense it's like paraben free and fragrance free so it doesn't make me break out it doesn't aggravate my skin at all I just have no bad words to say about this what Whatsoever. Something really cool happened at the end of January. One of the first YouTubers I ever watched 
Tanya Burt launched her own nails and lip range and I just think that's so cool like someone who started videos in like their living room now has their own range like that is just that's just so, so cool. So I went to the launch at the end of January and since then I've pretty much religiously been wearing this shade Picnic in the Park since then. The smell, first of all, reminds me of like, I can't even remember, it just reminds me of sweets and like candy. I don't know. Oh, it just smells so good and it just, the smell kind of just makes you feel happy. I don't know why. And the lip applicator actually has a little groove so it kind of fits on the lips quite nicely as well. I've also been liking the shade Champagne Toast and I just love the names as well. I think they just give such life to lip products. I really like how sheer these are as well because you can just slap them on on the go and you don't even need to like look in a mirror. I have a whole post on her lip and nail range so if you fancy knowing more about them I will link that post below. I've been doing a couple of overnight trips this month as well as I just went to Paris and I only took one palette. Like I know that doesn't, that sounds like normal but for me that's like really good because I'm like a sad palette addict and all my palettes are like bought with the intention of like I can use them for traveling but anyway I bought this one smoky eye palette and this is the Clinique Neutral Territory 2 eyeshadow palette just look how thin it is it is so thin it's basically the thinness that's not a word of this uh, brush here it's just so thin which I love and it's so so compact but you still get a decent number of shades you get eight shades in here and there isn't one dud of the bunch. I especially love the shade Black Honey and the two kind of taupe shades in the middle. And this is basically all that's been on my eyes this entire month. The formulation of Clinique eyeshadows is incredible. They're like so, so buttery. They're not chalky at all. They're really, really pigmented. And this is just such a cute little dinky palette that's basically the size of my hand and it's so perfect for traveling. So if you are a smoky eye lover, I think this might be limited edition. I'm not sure. I'll put the information in the information box below, but definitely get your hands on this because it is a beautiful palette. Now any true Essie Button watchers will remember this. If you are a true Essie Button watcher, I'm sure you will remember this too. And I actually had a really bad lip problem this month. My lips were just really, really dry and I kind of was digging around my drawers for something and I ran across this and I remembered Estee talking about it and I was like, yes, I'm going to give this a go. And this was the Nukes Rev de Miel lip balm and I tried this the time she was actually talking about this, which must have been like a year ago or something. And I didn't really like it, I just kind of was a bit not fussed by it, but my lips weren't really that dry. If you have mega dry lips, I'm talking like really chapped to the point where it's sore and just like not cute, this is just incredible stuff. Like Estee knows what she's talking about, okay? Now I've already been through one pot of this stuff and I was just in France and I picked up three more and this is my second pot. It has a really thick texture but it kind of smooths out into something a bit more light and it dries matte which is really good because if you're applying a lipstick on top of it you don't want a kind of slippy lip balm surface. And this keeps lips hydrated for hours and hours on end. Estee, you just always get your recommendations dead on and even though I'm like over a year late, I have finally realized how great this stuff is. Now this was something that was very well loved this month. This is the Elemis Skin Nourishing Shower Cream. I just need to take five while I smell this because <laughs> it's so good. I wish you guys could smell this. It just smells like peace. Do you know what I mean? Like when something just smells peaceful, oh it's kind of leaking because I just took it out of my shower, but it just kind of smells peaceful and makes you feel like zen and at one with yourself. I don't know, I sound like I'm preaching some sort of yoga book. This is like a really, as the name says, super nourishing shower cream. It's just so luxurious to rub on yourself. Like it just is really, really creamy. It's like the creamy version of the L'Occitane um, almond oil, but it's not oily and it doesn't leave a layer over your skin, it just leaves your skin feeling so, so smooth. As you can see, I'm already down to here, so this is majorly, majorly well loved and I've already bought one for my sister and put one in her shower as well. I remember saying at the end of last year I hadn't found my like perfect shower product, now I found it. It is this one and it rocks. My last favourite is actually a blogger and YouTuber and I've been reading her blog pretty religiously. It's really great because she updates daily so there's always like something new to read when I get up in the morning. Her name is Tijan Serena and she also just started a YouTube channel and I think she started it about two or three weeks ago and her videos are like so well produced. She really knows what she's talking about. She has like great, great recommendations. So I will link her blog and her YouTube channel below and definitely go and check them out. Definitely go and subscribe 
subscribe to her as well. She did like a bridal beauty video which I really liked because she had some really good recommendations in there and it was like ways to prepare beauty wise for a big event so definitely go and check her out I will leave her links below. Does anyone else's dog do this like I put my lip gloss on like put it down and then like next second I like, look over and Duke's like oh woohoo something to chew it is so annoying. I like this lip gloss I don't want it to like be chewed up you know. Anyway I might as well tell you what it is now. <laughs> this is the lip what I'm wearing now this is the lipstick queen Vesuvius I think it's called lip gloss in candy it's kind of like a Barbie pink but not Barbie. Do you guys like it? Also I've done something different with my eye makeup I've done like only I get really excited about this I've done only like upper lid if that makes sense so do you like it or do you like the whole shebang oh duke doesn't get excited about this he just did a really big yawn i think that is all my updates for today i really hope you enjoyed this video don't forget to give it a thumbs up and let me know if you fancy seeing a video about best and worst of spring launches and i will see you in my next video bye hello look who i have with me this is just so exciting fleur fleur de force hello and becky talk becky talk this is just so exciting to have them in my videos but today we are going to do our top pamphlet